Unk Talk of the Day, Unpopular Opinion. I'm your host, Uncle KG, and this is Unk Talk. Well, the opinion may be unpopular, but the conversation is necessary. I want to thank you for joining me today. So, today, we're going to talk about forgiving people even when they're not sorry. Forgiving people even when they're not sorry. And I'm choosing this, this topic to touch on because I noticed that we as a people, myself included, we seem to only forgive people when we feel that they're sorry, when we when they tell us they apologize or if we see it in their actions, right? But we have to get to the point where we make peace within and with the situation at hand and that we just forgive naturally because we need to in order to let this thing go. Now, don't get me wrong. It's tough. Our forgiveness can only be contingent upon if somebody says they're sorry. And a lot of times it has to do with how egregious the offense is. People have done some crazy things to me. And I'm sure they've done some crazy things to you. But all in all, we have to find a way to forgive. With forgiveness, that brings peace within with forgiveness, that allows a, a, a way to release that situation, to let go. A lot of times, people that aren't sorry, they don't move on with their life. They don't care about what they did to you, if they think they did anything to you at all. Some people are that delusional that they don't think they did anything wrong in a situation. And I'm going to be quite frank with you. Some people just don't care. Some people do not care that they offended you, that they disrespected you, that they hurt your feelings, that they made you feel some type of way, that they embarrassed you, that they embarrassed themselves. Some people do not care. Some people are that delusional that they only are able to see things from their perspective, from their point of view. So if you sit around and not forgive that person. You're harboring feelings. You're harboring those emotions. You're not letting go. You're holding on to that pain. You're holding on to that anger. Why they just moving on, living their life? You sitting back upset and angry and emotional and 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 sitting around with hurt feelings. And this person is just carrying on with their daily life. Like nothing even happened. Why you still sitting around mad? That some people are not sorry. And and I and I also got this topic because me and my wife was talking. I had an issue with somebody a while ago. Right? And my wife broke it down to me. She said, Baby, sometimes you have to forgive people even when they're not sorry. They don't care about what they did to you. They live in their life. What they did to you is only affecting you because if they were apologetic if they did feel bad about the offense you would be sitting around waiting for an apology so much time has went past that you have to allow yourself an opportunity to release that situation and i'm only saying it because when it's fresh it's difficult right it's kind of difficult some people might offend you might not know that they did so then that's a that's a total different story. That's a that's a total different thing that you have to address, right? Because I I could be offensive and not know that I'm offensive. Because I don't know how a particular situation, you know, might be affecting you personally, right? However, at the same time, some people are delusional. No matter what you say, you hurt my feelings. And I feel like you hit me below the belt. I took that some type of way. That made me feel some type of way. Some people are like, well, I ain't mean it that way, so... And they move on. So you have to find a way yourself to release. You have to find a way to let go. I'm not even saying you have to necessarily make amends. But I am saying you have to forgive. You have to make amends with 
the situation. You have to you have to find some sort of peace within. This person may never tell you that they're sorry or that they apologize because they don't care. Because they think, you know, it's your fault or that you should apologize first. Obviously, somebody got to be the bigger man, right? Somebody has to be the more mature individual in the situation. But a lot of times that doesn't happen. A lot of times that doesn't happen. Depending on how egregious the, the offense is to you. Some people, you might be like, you know what? I don't ever want to deal with that person again or in that capacity. But with that still being said, that's fine and that's okay. But you got to let that go. You got to let it go. You have to try to forgive. Now, you do have some very extreme cases. Like, very extreme cases. And when I say extreme, I mean like something to your kids or something to, you know, your spouse or a parent. Some, some, if somebody did something like breaking the law to them or something that you just never saw them doing. That can be tough. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's still some people I'm trying to forgive for some things. But I know that I have to. I know that it's, it's for the betterment of myself. I had to do it for me. It ain't, it's not even for them because they're not even apologetic about it. They don't even care. They don't think they did anything wrong. That's also a form of like, you know, being a narcissist. Some people don't, they just can't see. It's always everybody else. It's never them. It takes a mature individual to say, you know what? I was wrong for that. Not my bad. I apologize. That wasn't my intentions, but I see how you could you could take it that way. You know what? I I should have I should have been better than that. But a lot of times people will do something to you that's offensive, and when you respond back the same type of way, now it's is what was me. Now they just focusing on what you said and what you did to them, when they don't even realize they threw the first stone. They threw the first stone, and you have the right to defend yourself. And you also have the right to remove yourself from that person or that environment or that situation. But once you do, if you decide to part ways, if you decide to move on, you still got to find a way to forgive. And it go past, you know, well, I just hope the best for him. I don't got no ill will towards him. But you do because you might not wish bad upon them, but you ain't fully let that situation go. When their name come up, when you see them on social media, when y'all have mutual friends, bring the situation up and make you feel away. We have to forgive to the point where if I hear this person's name, if I'm in this environment with this person, if the situation is brought back up to the forefront, I'm just at peace with it. It, it. it does nothing to me on the inside. Now, I'm not saying to forget. I'm simply saying to forgive. And that don't necessarily mean that you got to go back and, you know, be cool with this person. Hopefully that's the case, right? Because y'all were cool in the first place. But find a way to forgive. Find a way to let go. It ain't for them. It's for you. It's for you. Do you, do you understand that emotions, something we can't see, touch, feel, smell, taste, hear, affect you physically? Harboring those, those feelings of anger and resentment. Sadness. That stuff, it, it affects you physically. So that's why it's important for us to be able to let this situation go. I done got so mad at some people that my chest started hurting before or got a headache from the situation because I was refusing to let it go. Now, it's steps to it. And these steps, it's difficult. But they got to be done. 
It has to be done. So I want to encourage you today, man. Find a way to forgive. I know it's tough. I know it's tough, especially if you feel like you didn't get your lick back. That's one of the things, especially if you feel like you ain't really get off like you wanted to get off. I understand. I understand. But if you ain't get off the way you wanted to get off, just get off of that situation completely. Let it go. Move on. Make peace with that situation. Even if you don't necessarily make peace with that person, meaning having a, a, a conversation. Make peace with that situation. It is what it is. It was what it was. But for me, it's, it's better for me and myself and my life to continue to move forward. That's all I got for y'all today, man. It's Untalk Today, Unpopular Opinion. I'm your host, Uncle KG. This is Untalk, where the opinion may be unpopular, but the conversation is necessary. Thank y'all for joining me, man. Till next time. Peace.